Hey YouTube, it's me, your on Captain. Today we're going to be looking at Pick Story. P I C S T O R Y. Let me show you what the little icon looks like. It's right here with the little camera, the silver background, and you can find it in the App Store. And you can get it currently for $2.99, I think. Um However, it is only available on the iPad. Now, what you can do with this application is pretty remarkable. If you enjoy grouping your photos into different lists or you, you group them by tag, put them into different categories, uh, say you put all your photos of your kids school pictures in one album put all the uh, Christmas pictures in another album and you just simply tap the add album and you can select photos that's on the device or in iTunes and Picasso or Dropbox and it's very simple to add them to add these you just simply tap on the Dropbox or if I wasn't signed in to Dropbox, then I would actually just go up here and tap log in and type my login credentials and it would log me in. Same thing like where I've not logged in for Twitter. I just simply need to tap that and it would do all this stuff here with Twitter and install the app and then go through all that, but we're not going to do that. Uh, to add that, you just simply choose a photo that's we're currently going to use my stream right here that I have 398 pictures in and let's choose these three photos here so we're going to add them up here alright so up here is the album we're creating and we simply tap tag and I could just say me okay now when I go in here and it's if I search for anything and I type in me then it's going to be real easy to find it or I can choose it by date if I want to put a date on there, say these were taken June 12th, then I could put that date to these photos and it would pull those up by date. And you can select your Dropbox up here, your Picasa to, to put them up, to upload them to, and different albums right here from my album. You see, I don't have anything in my album yet, but when we go in here and hit save, now it's creating these albums now right here you see I've got these currently I have four albums up here now created so here's one that's got some little app photos in it so let's look through some of this stuff here and here's some Angry Birds stuff so if I wanted to share that photo with someone I could it, it would be very easy to share it with Facebook, Twitter, email, iTunes, Picasso on down the line or if, if I want to just simply export it to my camera roll I can do that however it just makes it real easy to share photos with other people uh, you can share you know the album and you can even go in here and put tunes right here save albums to iTunes if you want to put everything in iTunes and that way when you back up your uh, iPad you can save these and everything will be right there for you and here's your timeline if you want to look at everything by date right here and you can change this background picture here as well by going up here to change themes if we want to put that on there uh, I sort of like that one it's a little easy to look at and if we wanted to turn the opacity down we could do that as well and we can even make some more adjustments here if we want to add some more blue or something like that or we could choose a photo from our own library if I wanted to add say this one here of me um, I could do that very easily so I hit apply and now it's got my big ugly mug on there for the theme and under settings up here you've got a few things you can attach to Dropbox because of Twitter security settings it's not it's a pretty simple app to understand and you can also put passcode on pictures if you want to lock certain ones 
and you'll be the only one that'll be able to see them if that's something you wanted to look at. And if you wanted to come in here and make some edits, maybe you wanted to add some more photos or remove some photos, then you could do that in here very easily. If you wanted to just tap that one picture right there and hit remove, it takes it out that quick. Then you just simply save that album. Now there's only two photos in that album. So you see how it works. It's real easy to use. You've got uh, your different things over here. You can save albums to iTunes. You can save albums to Dropbox or Picasa. You can lock it. You can favorite it, edit it, delete it. You can, you can look at it by time or you can look at it by album name. And you can also go in here and look at it by tag if you want to pull up the tag. Right here's the one I put me on. So let's look at me. Okay. Now it just pulls up the, the album where I had me in there. This app also allows you to add memos to your photos as well. If you wanted to tell a story as you were going through the pictures, it would be a good way to do that. But right at the top up there, you can see where it says memo. Just tap that and you can record as long as you want to right there and then just simply hit the stop button you can play it back right inside the application if you want to listen to it or you can delete it and you can add them to your photos to to go right along with them so hopefully you enjoyed this review guys if you think you can use this app check it out the link will be below don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave and keep coming back